firmware from the GE Crystallization website. Second, we need to have the latest software. In this demonstration, I'm using the latest software version 2.2 to upgrade my relay firmware 2.0 into 2.2. The third one is the interface must be USB. If you're using other interface like uh, Ethernet, you'll get a warning message. So now I plug into my USB cable to the relay. I'm going to use my quick connect connect into the relay. And uh, under the maintenance, we got uh, update former options. It pop up a message will take up to 20 to 30 minutes. Click OK. Then we need login as administrator. Enter the password 0. Click send password to device. Now we're going to select uh, the uh, firmware. So now I have a version 2.2 saved on my desktop J0J08CA220. The extension name is SFD. So I'm going to click open this file and click proceed. And uh, it says uh, the update will default the relays setting. So make sure you have already bank up your setting files before upgrade the firmware. So I click yes to proceed. And uh, from the software side, we see that uh, rebooting really to upload mode. Please wait. And also we can see that the really front panel changed into the upload mode. So in the software, I got to upload the progress bar is moving. The boot firmware will be upgrade uh, to the relay. You see the message box says. OK, we got the message to power cycle the relay after boot to upload successfully. I'm going to turn off the relay and then click OK. So now in the relay the front panel, we can see that firmware write complete message. At the bottom, there's a progress bar is moving. OK, I got another message. Boot 1, upload 640. Power cycle the relay. I'm going to turn off the them, click OK. Now we have the main firmware uploading into the relay. You can see the percentage from both the software and the relay front panel. Now we got this message from the software, firmware update successfully. Please wait for the relay to boot up, then cycle power again to complete the firmware update. So now this uh, firmware update is uh, complete. We just need to, to wait for the relay to reboot, and then we can start using this new firmware.